In this video, we're going to talk about graphing using the zoom in window features. And this is just an extension of the previous graphing video that I've uploaded. So um, if you need to look, remember how to graph, go ahead and watch that video first prior to this. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at how do we zoom in, how do we zoom out, how do we fix things, stuff like that. So we're just going to go right over to the calculator here. All right, so here's our calculator. Let's turn it back on. And here we have our y equals. So y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. And we clicked on the zoom. Now, there are ways that we can go about changing this window. Okay, now remember, the window goes from x equals negative 10 to x equals positive 10 on this horizontal axis. And then y equals negative 10 the y equals positive 10 on the vertical axis. Now, let's say we just wanted to zoom in a little bit because we could see that there's a y-intercept right here and then there's an x-intercept right here. Now, to zoom in, we just click on the word zoom or on the button zoom, which is right in the middle. And then you can see you have all these different options. Zoom box, zoom in, zoom out, zoom decimal. And I'll be honest, I don't know what all these do, but I know the ones that, I, that we need to know. So if we wanted to zoom in, we could scroll down to number two, hit enter. And you can see right here in the middle, there's that little blinking pixel. Okay, now if you move that using the cursor buttons on the actual calculator, you can move that up and down. You can also go left and right. And what that's going to do is that's going to focus where you want the initial zoom to be. So let's just say we put it right here in the middle somewhere, in the middle of that little right triangle that we've created. And we just hit enter. Now you can see we get a more zoomed in shot of the X and Y intercepts. However, now that you've zoomed in, the question becomes, well, how do you fix this? Okay. So what we can do is we can zoom standard and that will fix, that'll bring everything back to normal. So to show you that I click on zoom and then this button right here, number six says zoom standard. Okay. So if I just scroll down to number six, zoom standard, and hit enter, I go ahead and I get the picture that I originally had, which is x equals negative 10, the x equals positive 10, and then y equals negative 10 to y equals positive 10. But the big thing you should be asking yourself is, well, how did he know that it was x equals negative 10 and positive 10, and then y equals negative 10 and positive 10 also? Well, that's where the window comes in. So you could be very specific. So on this second button right here where it says window, you can click on a window and you could tell the calculator exactly what you want this screen to show you. That's what we mean. That's what we mean by window. So for example, let's say I didn't need X equals negative 10. I wanted, I wanted my window to start at negative one. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and type in negative one. Oops, sorry. Oops, I don't know why I have two negatives there. There we go. And I want my X max to be, let's say, the number five. So I can just hit five. There we go. Now, the X scale, that just tells you how the little dash marks are going to go. I always leave that at X scale one. I really don't mess with that too much. Now, with our Y values, let's say we want to start at zero. And we want the Y max to be five as well. So the Y scale, leave it at one. Uh, the X res, I don't even know what that means, to be honest with you. I've never touched this at all. So don't even worry about it. As soon as you go ahead and fix your window, you can hit graph. And there's our new window right there. Okay? And remember, you could always fix what the window looks like by going to zoom, option number six, standard. And that will always take you back to is if you just bought the calculator and you just opened it right out of the box. All right. So I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next one.